Happy New Year, everyone. I'm back. I'm revealed back in town How'd at the New Year's Eve party, pretending to be the Patch of Man. <laughs> so that's is that, that Russian, and Italian? I don't know. What that I don't. Is. That, I, I fall into the <laughs> Russian at that point. So Stefano has to kind of, you know, he has to do a lot of work to be this Patch dude. Although they spent a lot of time together, we had story in the past. In fact, I lived in the Demero Mansion for a while. Oh, you did. And I was just, you know, eat, get going to the kitchen, getting sandwiches and pie, and coming out and just messing with everybody. And Stefano was like, oh, uh, take out the trash, Tony. It's starting to offend me. You know? <laughs> it was, we had a lot of fun. So Stefano knows this guy. You know, he has a, a lot of memories of who this guy Steve is. Steve knows like. this guy. Well, Stefano. Oh, Stefano knows Stefano Steve. Stefano knows Steve. So now it's right. time for Stefano to impersonate Steve. Right. Justin is in love with Kayla. He's had a really rough year. It's been a really, really difficult year. And, but yet, from the bottom, he has he discovered this woman that he's in, madly in love with, and they have this great chemistry. Bottom. He's celebrating New Year's going, we're gonna have this great year together, and that's where he's at, and it's really kind of fun. Yeah. Did I, Wally Kurth, ever think that I'd be prepared? No I way. Bet, I bet with you were Kayla? surprised. No. Huh? no, I never thought. I am so tired of this charade. I'm tired of living in another man's body. It's time for me to get what I came for. They were very cagey. They did not want to tell me exactly <laughs> but you what the know, story was. And I said, this to, I said this to somebody when I heard it was going to happen. I said, you know, Stephen will be a person who will not take this lightly, and he is going to research it <laughs> and could... do it, and he and he 100% is well, in and done it. And well, you see, I tip my hat. Here's the thing. Joe Mascola was a master. Mm -hmm. And when I started watching and remembering the stuff that we had done together and watching stuff with other people and the relationships, I was really intimidated because he was just amazing. And they're big shoes to fill. And I wanted to fill those shoes. So yeah, I was very nervous. It's become more and more comfortable as I've been doing it. She had, a little, she had a little episode of Christmas where there was the Santa for the thing and it kind of looked like him and she kept thinking it was him, but he didn't have a patch on and it wasn't him. And then she tried to confront him and he wouldn't turn around, she didn't see it. And so she's been unsettled anyway. And so all these different things happen. So by the time he comes in now as Steve, I'm like, what the hell? And did, were you that Santa? And this is all too crazy. And he's so kind of mean to me that it makes it easy to kind of be like, Fungula, I'm going with this guy. Plus yeah, he's madly quite, in love with yeah. me. I, you forgot to yeah, mention forgot. that part. <laughs> yeah, I have poor, totally poor charmed dimples, her. Poor Dimples, poor Dimples. He's so like, insecure. I've no. charmed her and After, I, haven't even, I haven't even sang a song yet. Yeah. And I asked him not to. <laughs> I don't want a song, so make me laugh. But she, I think, 100% is committed to moving on because, I mean, this was a big love, but he, he disappeared and he hasn't called her and he was, you yes. know, he wouldn't come home and there was a lot of things it's, chipping away. It's, it's, it's not my fault, baby. <laughs> Let's raise a glass for the year that's passed yes. and for the year that is to come. Yes! Yes! Yeah. Thanks for having us. Well, but honestly, I, I did. Keep loving your But words. then I saw the Patch Man come in and now it's, it's, it's been curtailed a little bit. Kill. It's been derailed. Kill Patch. Yeah, now it's about how do I get rid of that guy? Good. My queen of the night, <laughs> back in the golden birdcage. <laughs> All of a sudden, I think it's to sort out her life. I mean, it's a lot of crazy stuff. But I think at the moment, I mean, she's a little confused. That's where it is. I think she's confused and she doesn't know because that's also confusing. And he's also being so mean and horrible. And he's so great. I keep thinking about all the Christmases with Steve. How sweet he was. How he always made me laugh. How much I adored him. Mary Beth is so totally honest. She makes me honest. 
<clears throat> she's just an honest actress, and she's honest in life too. What what you see is what you get, and there's nothing better than that when you're when you're working with somebody. That's a great description of MB. There's an honesty that always immediately brings you into the moment. And you know, you want to be in the moment, stay in the moment. And for That's us, you know, we, right. we uh, sorry, well, cone of silence. We, <laughs> we wanted to, when we discussed this pairing, we wanted it to be a grown up relationship. That we weren't being jealous or teenagers or, you know, or that kind of relationship. That it was more, these people that actually really did know each other for a long time. And to talk about your uh, people you'd been with before is not taboo or your wife that's not with us anymore is not taboo to talk about this. That we don't have to be all, you know, oh, oh, he doesn't like me anymore because he's with his wife. Uh, it's not that. That it's more mature. Uh -huh. And to yeah. try to, we tried to approach it like that so that we could be yeah. maybe a little bit different. It is refreshing mm -hmm. to be working with other people. You know, I mean, people yeah. have always said, oh, they can never break up Patch and Kayla. They can't ever be with... And there were a couple of false starts with other pairings with Mary Beth when I was not on the show. But this is a real thing. This is a real story that involves these guys really being mm -hmm. together. And I'm uh, having scenes with a lot of people I've never worked with before. And it's the funniest except thing. maybe a little bit. Because yeah. you know what? That's what I'm saying. I hope the fans just kind of go along for the ride and see where it all takes them instead of getting, you know, worked up. Then the angel said to them, don't be afraid. For behold, I bring you good tidings. I was uh, Santa Claus <laughs> and interact with his little snot-nosed kids and <laughs> give them gifts and uh, just so I could get close to my queen. And I slipped a gift into her purse. See, I told you, I told you that he goes in 100%. I had a bombshell though when I saw that, you know, when Justin kissed Kayla. Whoa! Didn't see that happen. <laughs> I have to admit, texted yeah. you or I might have yeah. called yeah, you yeah. like, hey baby, we're gonna be making out next week. Don't call her baby. <laughs> he can call me baby, you call me something else. Sweetness. But I will say, there have been times running lines, and like one time Steve and I were on the phone even running lines. If you have a moment where you just sort of step out of the that and you just sort of hear yourself saying them, we have been on the phone even like this, ah, ah, laughing, like hysterically laughing, laughing, laughing because sometimes when you step out, like, you know, no one's ever been kidnapped in my life, knock on wood, or a million, I, the viruses or chips or, you know, whatever. I just think it's soap operas, you know, like, we always start with the soap part, but there's an opera part of this heightened drama that we play and the style in which we, you know, yeah. you know, enjoy it. So. I hope that everybody just has fun with it and just uh, tunes in to see what's yeah. next, because it's a lot of twists and turns. It's the drama and conflict that makes this show. Happy New Year! Happy New Year.